In the days of old, the Freyuan Empire was a virgin society on the cutting edge of alchemy and sorcery. The king, held in high esteem by his people, was a valiant warrior and well-respected throughout the land. He had a well-honed sense of justice and was a good man at heart. The king supported the development of all magical systems, with the exception of necromancy. The dark art was banned, and a powerful necromancer known as Mortalis and his followers were banished from the empire forever. The king had always suspected that Mortalis would seek his revenge against him. One fateful evening, his premonitions were realized. The king himself fought valiantly, but his companions were no match for the lad of Mortalis. Eventually, the king was defeated. With the empire in ruins and the king believed to be dead, only two of his advisors remained. The first was Andurus, the king's military leader and political advisor. The second was Caliban, a noble alchemist who took on all manners of sorcery. Fearing that the wraiths would return, Andurus took the healthy and fled to the northern regions to start his own sovereignty, the kingdom of Virtuin. Caliban, who was often at odds with Andurus, was appalled that the sick and the crippled had been left behind. He took the injured and his loyal sorcerers and moved to the western jungles and began constructing the Chrysalis Collective. Meanwhile, Mortalvis, during his exile, took refuge in the southern scorched earth region of the Empire. It was there that he built the realm of Pariah, deep inside a massive volcano. After his wraiths demolished the Empire, he returned to the ruins to collect the corpses of the deceased for resurrection to serve in his army of the dead. As time passed, the hatred between each of the three groups increased. Small border conflicts between the factions turned into large skirmishes, and the skirmishes turned into massive battles. The battles for ground control raged, and soon escalated into the sky. Flying creatures were bred, trained, and summoned by each of the factions for use in their bid to dominate the land. Andurus, Caliban, and Mortavis each sought to unify the land and sky under their own rule. Preparations were made, defenses constructed, and aerial warriors were trained to fly their kingdom's warbirds. The time has come for war. The time has come for courage. In this time, 